I want you guys to be very easy on technology, okay? We are very low tech because technology, it limits you, pigeonholes you. And also it's it's not something that is very sustainable and scalable because it changes a lot. And technology is usually a learning curve unless you're already a tech whiz. If you're not, you're gonna spend hours and hours and hours and hours and hours trying to learn tech and you need to be making sales. The other thing you need to make sales is a pay link and you can get it from Stripe or PayPal. You do not need any other piece of technology, guys, other than social media to close sales. So again, if you're someone who's constantly feeling like I need a sales page, I need this, I need that technology, I need this. I want you to eliminate that idea. You need a pay link and a social media platform and you need to go talk to people. That's how you close sales, okay? You don't need all the other stuff. If you're growing and expanding your business, you got to keep it lean. We focus on this in the mastermind all the time is like, we do not need all this complication. Some of you have way too many offers. Some of you are doing way too many strategies. Some of you are switching your prices too much. You're changing up your niche and your target market and your messaging and your audience and all these things. Please know that you're starting over every time you do that. And the, every offer you have is considered a business model because it requires a different effort, a different strategy, a different everything. And every time you do that, you're starting over. I want you to go strong, which means find one offer and sell that one offer. One offer, one message, one client, one target market, one strategy, one platform, one price point, one everything until you hit multiple six or seven figures. Then you can layer on and be like, oh, let me test a new offer. Some of you, when you're newer, you're trying to get to six and seven figures with a million different things. And I focus on the power of one even now. You guys can see what we have. We don't have a lot. We have two programs in Boxer. I have no funnels. I have no crazy tech, no sales pages, no website. And I'm not saying you shouldn't have a website. We're going to build a website just for the sake of SEO, but we're not doing any of those. We're not on a million platforms. Have any of my strategies vastly changed here? No. So what I want you guys to understand is that's lean. That is lean. You guys have to master less, not do more. So keep that very simple. I also think it's important to practice mindfulness, especially around money and receiving. I'm a sales coach. And I think if you want to make a lot of money, you have to be really, really, your money channels need to be wide open. You need to be open to receiving. How many of you here have a hard time like receiving a compliment? Is there anyone here that acts a little weird if someone's like, oh, you look beautiful today? Do you get weird? Like, uh, thank you. Like, how many of you here feel like you could do a lot better at receiving? Like, oh, hey, I would like to, let me help you with that. If you have receiving issues, you have money issues. Can someone post that on social media and tag me? please. Because that's a really good one. If you have receiving issues, you have money issues. So if anyone feels like posting that and just tagging me on social and Facebook, that'd be awesome. I think that's a really good reminder because someone giving you money is a transaction. It is you just receiving. And I think we undercharge and we get scared to ask every day for the sale and all this stuff, because actually what it is, is that we have receiving issues. So that means you have to practice a mindset around that, like journal what you have, is, where does that come from? And why does that exist? And is it actually true? Is it yours? Is that mom's? Is that dad's? Whose issue is that really? And let's really work through that. Okay. That's not normal. You should be able to receive compliments. You should be able to receive money. You should be able to receive gifts. You should be able to receive support and help and not feel weird about that. In fact, you should ask for it and feel totally great with that. You should feel like you're worthy of receiving. So if you're not really receiving the money you want and you're low in your prices and you're cowering down, look into where else you are doing that in your life. Okay. I'm not going to get into delegating too much, but guys, get your business lean where you don't have a whole lot or you got to delegate some stuff off your plate. I think last week we talked about my triple D, right? Decide it, do it, delegate it, or delete it. Those are your four options, right? You can watch last week's show. We talked about that. Decide on it, do it, delegate it, or delete it. But it, it cannot just sit and live on your list of things that need to get done if you're not actually going to do it, if you shouldn't be doing it, or you don't know how to do it, or it doesn't directly put dollars and cents in your bank account, okay? I want you guys to get in the habit of always asking yourself, does this activity, will this put dollars and cents in my bank by end of day or end of week? If the answer is no, it's a no. Remember, we talk about it has to be a hell yes, right? 